Hey, what's up? It's day two of the 100 Days of Code video series. Today, we're tackling a modal in vanilla JavaScript. So let's get right into it. This project should be pretty simple. We're gonna create an index.html file and we're gonna set up a title. We're just gonna call this JS modal. We're gonna have basically two main elements. We're gonna have an overlay with a modal inside and inside of this modal, we're gonna have our form. This will be the form that our users can sign into. This form will be pretty basic. We'll have an input for a username and an input for a password. We're also gonna have a new here sign up button as well as a login button. And that'll pretty much be it for our overlay and our modal. So now let's just create a nav bar. The nav bar will also be pretty simple. We're just gonna have our title all the way to the left that says JS modal. We're gonna have a big login CTA all the way to the right. And that is pretty much it for the HTML. So let's create our app.css file. CSS can be pretty boring, so I'm gonna speed through this, but feel free to slow down the video if you'd like to see exactly how I do the CSS. I'll check in in a bit when it's time to work on the JavaScript. Now the CSS is complete, we have our modal hidden and we have our navbar showing. So I'm gonna give an ID of overlay to the overlay and I'm going to give an ID of login to the login button. And now we can get started with the JavaScript. I'll create an app.js file and just before we write any code, I'll go and link it in the HTML file. The JavaScript here is gonna be pretty simple. We're just gonna create a couple of variables, one for the overlay as well as one for the login button. Once we have our variables, all we need to do is write an event listener listening for clicks on the login button. And once we click the login button, all we're gonna do is say overlay.style.display is equal to grid. And then our overlay should show when we click the login button because in the CSS, we have our display set to none. But if you know anything about me, I really like my animations. So let's spice this up just a little bit. I'm gonna create a new keyframe called fade in and at 0% or the start of the animation, we'll set the opacity to zero and the margin top to negative three rim. And then at 100%, we're gonna up that opacity right back up to one and set the margin top to zero. We're gonna add this as an animation to the modal itself. So in the modal rule, we'll say animation fade in 0.5 seconds ease forwards. So when we click the login button, we should now have a nice smooth animation when our overlay shows. There's just one bug that I'd like to fix before we call this finish. If you notice, our nav bar is on top of our overlay and that's because we have our nav bar set to fixed. This is an easy fix. We just need to give the Z index property a value of 10 on the overlay and it should fix it right up. If you'd like to contribute to this project, please check the description down below for a link to the GitHub repo and check the issues section. Currently, there's no way to close the modal, so that'll be a great fix for you. But you can also give this a dark mode or change the color scheme or anything you'd like. So feel free to contribute and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, have fun and happy coding.